subscribe on guys today look at guys wait 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 huh? guys look at where are you now? where are you now guys huh? today in the historical museum right and si, today si, si Mia, Mr. I meet today si Mr. Danny Aquino and si Archie, Archie Auguste guys uh, okay uh, uh, Mr. Aquino I can take a video your yes. uh, museum right this is a museum yes. guys you know honest to goodness guys this museum is very nice museum in Saipan guys you know honest to goodness guys if you want to visit in Saipan guys first come the museum in Saipan to, and meet Mr. Uh, Mr. Aquino and Mr. RJ, okay guys, and uh, sir, I can uh, interview you about yes. this museum, okay sir? Alright, first uh, I want to welcome um, Mr. Jerry Mangobot, I was very interested, you know, when I was watching YouTube and I saw his videos, and I just wanted to explore the possibilities of doing like a little bit of uh, guerrilla marketing by reaching out to his viewers and hopefully having like a, a chain of the word spreading out you know about the NMI museum and inviting everybody kids parents and uh, everyone to come to the museum it's uh, free and it's a chance for people to learn about their history and culture of the Marianas as I said all right sir thank you very much sir and then this time, sir, I can yes. uh, visit all yes. together, uh, Archie. I want to tell your viewers that Mr. Archie is the, uh, one of the uh, first uh, tour guides that's been certified yeah. uh, as a certified tour guide under the MBA program oh. that was administered by the NMC, North Marianas College. All right. Thank you, sir. All right. Oh. This is, uh... So we can come here. Oh. Yeah. Is, if you know right now, right, the museum, as part of the COVID, has been divided into areas, like stations. So we can start here. This is station one. Did I look at this? Say, following the director and the historical guys. Say, look, wow, man, and the first time I went, then then they took Balahibu, eh? This is taking on the line road, and then Archie can give you like a uh, detailed history on the road. Yeah. Arch, the road. Okay. 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 Okay.
with the Spanish permission to settle down here. So this vinyl here is Micro Beach, the first turn oh, micro beach. village in Micro Beach. Wow. Oh my man. Well, this is uh, old people before, no? Yes, during the uh, 50s and 60s. 60s, yeah. So there's still fishermen, sailors. Yeah. So they like weaving, just like this. Yeah, there's all the bucket, uh, basket, no? Mm -hmm. Alright, man. Now we're going to go to station 3, the island, Great Valley. So, this is Taka, the strongest chamoy that ever lived. It's mm -hmm. around 13 feet high. Wow. So this is just the cast what? of his skull. Mm -hmm. This real skull is in the Bishop Museum in Hawaii. They are still preserving it until now. Mm -hmm. And we do have even house bread bread, or house bread bread, and plainware. Where potteries from 4,000 years ago were pinned. With bread still finished exteriors, it has Polynesian and Melanesian. Design is just the same as this. Live on here. You can come close. <laughs> so these are the rock, no? Lusong. Lusong, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. The same, you know, guys, processing like processing plants. Yeah. To medicine or for food. To food, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like especially in the, the Philippines, the people, my grandma, using that on the yeah. rice. Yeah, you yeah. Rice yeah. Okay. Also, this is part of the uh, Phase One uh, Museum upgrade, the refresh that we had. The Guam Museum, we partnered up with the Guam Museum mm -hmm. to help us uh, do this, and we're very grateful for them to actually reach out to us. We're grateful for the CMI uh, legislature, the delegation there, to give us the funding to, and also uh, the. MBA, you know, we're always grateful to our sponsors, you know, and the people up at the legislature and the governor's office for their support of the museum. Okay. So we're gonna move on. Yeah. So right here, this is the human leg bone. The ancient Chamorros always like to worship their dead ancestors' bones. So this is the biggest thing that they can find to turn into a weapon. Mm. Or use it as spears for fishing. Can come closer. Just look, look the before the he using the uh, the the old historical human, bone. human bones. Wow, yung sa ano no? Just pa stop here. Mm -hmm. Yung sa tuhod natin. Classy. Mm -hmm. Moving on here. So this is very interesting. Well, today we use fishing rod and everything is yeah. mm -hmm. more modern. So this is called the poi. It's used to lure mackerel to the top surface of the water. Top part is coconut shell, bottom part is limestone. limestone. They put crushed coconut in there to lure mackerel to the surface of the water. Mm. But yun, parang ginagamit pa nilang tiktik yan eh. Yes. But not now anymore. Not now anymore, no. Yo, I, I, if the, you want to try it, the sardines, the sardines and the, the make hole, yeah. and you put in the the rib, eh? That's the one she si, in the tanapag yeah. people there. I telling people that one, the sardines, eh? Yeah. And they make it hole, and then the rib, closing the rib, and put in the bottom. It's a lot. I catch them people sas, the big sas, the yellow face, eh? So they still do that. I don't know now, because I'm um, staying already in. But man, I'm using only bread, eh? Yeah. Moving on here, sorry, we can't yeah. do a video here. So I'll just explain that this is a real French painting that they came here mm -hmm. in 1918 and they drew what they saw in the Mariana Islands. Mm -hmm. All right. We also want to tell your viewers, you know, that um, the staff of the museum, you know, we really work hard, you know, I mean, a lot of us, you know, we're just working from the time that we come here to the time that we leave. A lot of emphasis is, is placed on the uh, care of our exhibits and the artifacts. That even if you're to take a white uh, paper towel or a white glove, you can actually go to any part of the museum 
and you can just light it and juice. Wow. And it's just clean. This is probably the most cleanest and maintained building in the uh, seat of my government. Wow, you know, good. and there's a reason why is that the artifacts they really get affected with moisture and dust. Those are what deteriorates our artifacts and our, you know it's a better presentation when everything is clean. And that's what I like to emphasize in this museum that we emphasize a lot on the maintenance and care. Okay. Now moving up to stage five, the German period. Jean Pierre from 1899 to 1914. So the Spanish lost the war with the Americans in 1899, which they sold the islands to the Germans for $4.5 million and they gave Guam to the United States. So this German administration building with the Stone Decker is just down there at the back of the Mount Car uh, the back of Christopher Church. Oh. Mr. Watt Intervals was sent by Mr. George Fritz, who was the first district officer at that time, to learn how to make shoes in Jiaozhou, China. In Jiaozhou, China, it's a brewery right now. It's called Tsingtao. So the Germans taught the Chinese how to make beer. So the Tsingtao beer, it's almost the same design as the Heineken beer. Germans that time left the Wow, well, we have a fighting drone, no? <laughs> Until now, we have, a, we have a fighting truck now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Jesus Christ. It was really long time, bro. In the 18th century, you know? So, about the German period, uh, George Fritz established the first local police force consisting of Carolinians and Chamorros. And then he established land registration with the local people. Moving on to Station 6, the Japanese period. So this is a picture of the front of the hospital in 1930s. Mm, 1930. Dr. Nobura Kai is the one that visited the hospital with his staff consisted of Japanese and locals. And his family lived here before. So this map is a map of Garapet in the 1930s. A Japanese guy who lived in Garapet in the 1930s drew it. Buildings from 1930s, buildings 30. from 1999. So, hospital is right here. Garapet Church, Christopher is right here. Japanese administration building, the same as the German administration building, it's right here. Mm. But when you see that Christopher Rice, that church is very long time, no? Yes. Wow. And there you can still see the bell. Yeah, bell. that's not, yeah, we see it there. there. The Simon Girls High School is, is now Fiesta Resort, which is going to be Crown Plaza. So, with Jerry, you came from down there, right? Yeah, yeah. So, you see these two yeah, yeah. stones on oh. the side? So, that's in the, in the Japanese uh, culture, it's meaning that there's a Shinto shrine ahead of you. Mm -hmm. So, that road. Is, is taking you to the Shinto Shrine in Shirtin Park as the road from here to there that do not exist anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You need a picture that don't appear, right? It's only the picture already. All right, guys, okay, look at the views, everything, the, the time. So the schools in the Japanese period were segregated into guys and girls, and the only language they can learn was Japanese. No English, no Chamorro, no Korean, no German. Mm -hmm. So this is very interesting. So the Japanese period, they put a stones up in Matpochao. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Up to Matpochao. Yeah. This is number 84. Only nine have been found. So one is here. Two is across the Makarmo Church. The Japanese cemetery, there's two there. There's one in Bonsai Cliff. Uh, just past the railing. Yeah. And the other five is in with the local it's with local houses in their possession. The Japanese society do not want to take it back. They want to know how many is out there. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. And Mr. Haruji Matsue. Yeah. So I want to show you king. 
Yeah, I see that. Who's, who's yes. that train, right? Yes, he graduated from LSU. Yeah. Louisiana State University, you can tell because his men were American bird. So here is the map of the, the train tracks. Oh, okay. The chicken. Mm -hmm. So this is the chicken factory. Uh, it's located in Mount Carmel School and Mount Carmel Church. So they ship the sugarcane to Okinawa where they the train goes across the road, sugar dock, and that's where they ship it to Okinawa. So you set up remnants of the Japanese spirit, so we have 30 of these pictures. I remember rolling it every time, like every six months or a year. This came from the National Archives in Maryland, Maryland. where it got misclassified only last June. Oh, so is it June 2019? Yeah, June 2019, yes. So probably almost two years. So we have the pictures here, American Memorial Park, that's no, the video. The video. Okay. Well, it's a big piece of right to this is a small one. United States. This is what the conflict happened. It's politically in the United States. So there's three important holidays for Saipan because of this the covenant, which was a proven sign where first that Gerald Ford on March 24, 1976. So March 24 is holiday covenant day. On November Four, that's when we see where US citizenship, so they're almost born here. The US citizens, so that's another holiday. Citizenship Day. Then our constitution was made on December 8th, which is another holiday. So we have three holidays for this. I call it the three C's. Covenant Day, March 24th. Citizenship Day, November 4th. And then Constitution Day, December 8th. Okay. And then this one is the original desk from. Uh, you know, delicate PE for mm -hmm. US Congressman. This is his grandfather's desk. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is before the old one. Uh, uh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She did his grandfather. She did his grandfather. Alright. These are Japanese military medical kits and their equipment. So it's it's very different from the American medical equipment. Medical yeah. kits. So this crystal-like substance here, it's in liquid form. It's, just, it's called Suran. Excuse me. <laughs> it's to cure syphilis. I mean, it's women's estrogen, sorry about that. It's women's estrogen. And yes, for our sin, is to cure syphilis. It's an STD. Deepening. So the Japanese have this because during the Japanese era, they like to rape young women. So that's why the Japanese military have this to cure syphilis in the air and to inject serum to girls who work in the mood. US medical kits and their equipment. So you can see here. So Scott tissue paper, which still exists today. Mm. That's what they used for their tissue. Iodine swabs were made from Johnson and Johnson. So Johnson and Johnson is a long time company. Yeah. And these were the cigarettes they used. And there's only around three to four pieces in there. First aid dressing too were made by Johnson and Johnson. And halazon tablets is to purify for drinking water. But today they use military. They have reverse osmosis in their camp. So instead of using these tablets, these tablets to purify water for drinking, they go to the camp and take water for drinking. Okay, moving on. Here are the most important camps. So 
There were three camps here in Saipan for Japanese, Koreans, and for the locals. In Tingnan, they had two camps for Koreans and Japanese. Japanese. There were four Chinese persons in the Tingnan concentration camps and Camp Chulo, but they do not know or we don't have any records of what are the four Chinese nationals doing in Tingnan. Mm -hmm. So in the internment camps, there were laborers. So whatever thing, whatever, whatever they can find, because everything's been damaged from the war, they make something out of it, like all of this, and sell it to the US military for money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you can see this mass, they were made the artists. Local artists, no? Yes. Wow. Local and Japanese too. Japanese too. No? Mm -hmm. Koreans too. Okay, guys, look. This is the local uh, 1945, Marius Island 1945, the artist people. Actually, this was made by a local mm -hmm. and, a Jap and Japanese uh, civilians in the concentration camps. It was given to Lieutenant Grom, who was uh, taking care of the Camp Chulon thing, and it was given to him as a souvenir to Lieutenant Grom. Donate it here to the museum so that people would enjoy seeing it. Yeah, you will. The last station is it's the conception collection. Mm. So this is the conception. Right here, the conception is made in Cavite, Philippines, with Chinese artisans and Filipino laborers. So it went with the Manila gallon trade from Philippines to Mexico bring Asian goods to the Gulf of Mexico where there are mules waiting to be transported to Veracruz where a ship is waiting to be bound to Spain and the ship comes back bringing new world silver back to Philippines Philippines, yeah On the second voyage the conception left Manila Bay on August 10, 1638 on typhoon season the typhoon destroyed their cells and it ended up in a gigan point where it sank in September September 20, 1638. So gigan point is the core ocean point area. The beach right there. Then in 1987, Pacific 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 Sea Resources handpicked 30 crew of uh, Computer engineers, divers, historians, archaeologists, they went down there at Gigan Point and they took everything up that is displayed here today in the museum. Okay. So I'm just looking for the map of So this is where it sank, mm -hmm. right there. Okay. And this is where they found everything. The anchor, jewelry, cannonball, storage jars. So these storage jars are used as luggages. Can be used for eggs, food, wine, oil, clothing, anything. Symbols on them are all Spanish, Tagalog, and or Chinese. Chinese. Represents who owned them, where it came from, and the contents in the jar. Like for example, this income. There's a Chinese writing. Oh, oh, oh. so antique already. Yes. Yeah. Some other symbols are of Spanish or Tagalog, but Chinese is in Chinese writing. And there were gold too that. It's usually display, but today it's in the bank. Okay, that's the in the bank. Yes, we just keep it at a safe place yeah. you know, until we have adequate yeah, staffing and security. Yeah. So you see, in the museum, we were able to get cameras. This is yeah. another upgrade in the museum. We have uh, security cameras throughout the museum. 
Yeah. So we just uh, want to let people know that we're always maintaining and watching people as they come in. All right. Okay. Yes, so that's the end of the tour. I hope you guys come to the museum and we can educate you guys on the history and culture of the Chamor people and Caribbean people. And we're going to have more upgrades and hope to see you guys soon. Yeah. So we're just asking the people to reach out to their congressmen, you know, tell them that the museum is come down for an experience and then they can go up and tell their congressmen, you know, that hey, give the museum more supplemental funding. And lastly, Jerry, good morning, Saipan! <laughs> <laughs> thank you, sir. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much, everything, sir. All right. And uh, you can send out, no? You can send out. Uh, thank you to Mr. Aquino. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Archie. Archie. Archie, I stay, right? And uh, guys, you, you, see, you heard that everything, guys. This, everything is, I take the video. And please, uh, come in Saipan and uh, watch the uh, watching uh, watch this museum in Saipan is very nice guys lanya my guys may 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 hearing may balay busa kami ko guys nagtatayuan guys like the you know like uh, you know before people here like is here also now in the museum in Saipan guys thank you very much and Mr Aquino to give me the chance to take this video and. Uh, I wish and Mr. Uh, I stay, RG, and uh, you know, uh, thank you, thank you very much. And he's uh, uh, oh, and that's the one again, I forgot. Mr. Oh, Jerry, I want to yeah. add one thing that um, just our business hours is from Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. to 12 p.m., and then from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m., and we are closed on the weekends and holidays. Yeah. See, guys, you heard that? Please, uh, you bring your family to visit this museum. Uh, somebody, family that came here. And please, uh, come to this place and what, watch everything you can see. It's beautiful, guys. This is the Hostreka Museum in Saipan. Okay? Okay? Thank you very much. And si si And maraming salamat. And please, subscribe to my channel. Hey. Alright? Subscribe, everybody. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you.